In this video, we're going to create a clean, modern text animation with a professional finish. Let's get started. First, we right-click in the media pool and select New Fusion Composition. Then we click Create and drag it to the timeline, right at the beginning. With the playhead positioned over the composition, we open the Fusion page. The first thing we're going to do in Fusion is add a background node. This is only necessary if we want the text to have a black or colored background and connect it to the yellow input of the Media Out 1 node. Perfect. If you want a transparent background instead, just don't add this node. Next, we'll add the text. With the background node selected, we go to the toolbar and click on the Text Plus icon. As soon as we add the text, you'll see it automatically connects through a merge node. I'm going to rearrange the nodes a bit so everything looks clearer. With the Text Plus node selected, we go to the inspector and type the word we want. In my case, I'm going to write animation. I'm going to use the Montserrat font in black style, which works really well for this type of animation. But feel free to choose any font that fits your style. We'll also increase the size a little so it looks better. All right, now let's start animating the text. We right-click on the text box and select the option Follower. As soon as we do that, the Modifiers tab becomes active. We go into the Modifiers menu and open the Shading tab. This is where we'll find the parameters we need to animate. We're going to work with Opacity and Position, specifically the Offset X and Y values. We move the playhead to frame 15 and add keyframes for Opacity and Offset X and Offset Y. When we do this, a new tab called Path 1 will open, but we don't need it. Just double-click on Follower to return to the previous panel. Now we move to the start of the animation at frame 0. We lower the Offset Y value so the text starts from below. You can simply type negative 0.3. We also reduce the opacity to zero, so it starts completely transparent. And with that, we already have a basic animation. Now let's keep improving it to make it look much smoother and more professional. If we play it now, we'll see that all the letters appear at the same time. So how do we make them appear one by one? Super easy. We open the timing tab and increase the delay value to two. And that's it. Now, as you can see, the text appears letter by letter, just like we wanted. To make the animation even smoother and more natural, we're going to add some speed ramps. We open the Spline tab in the top right corner. We check the text box and click Zoom to Fit to see all the keyframes we've created. Perfect. We select all the keyframes, right-click on the graph, and go to the Ease menu. Here we can choose between out cubic and in out cubic. Personally, I prefer out cubic. It makes the animation start fast and finish smooth, but you can try both and go with the one that fits your style best. We apply the speed curve, and as you can see, the animation already looks much smoother. Now we can close the spline panel. And finally, we add the secret ingredient. With the text node selected, we go to the inspector, open the tools menu and go to the settings tab. Here we can add motion blur to give the animation a more polished look and raise the quality to the maximum 10. And that's it. Now we have a clean, smooth, professional looking animation that you can use in any video. But hold on, here's the best part. We can save this text animation as a custom effect in DaVinci Resolve. And in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So you'll never have to recreate it from scratch. Just apply it to any project whenever you need it. See you there.